That's bloody dead, isn't it? I'm not quite sure where the gate is actually. Might be further round. There's a lovely flower, look. Sheena, yay! Beautiful views, everyone, isn't it? Fantastic views. Slanting trees, rocky formations. Carboniferous limestone. Um, you, know, you could easily get lost here at night because, once again, it's sometimes difficult to know where you are especially in the mist. Over there we got Cheddar Quarry, an active quarry. And they've, they're carving up more and more. They took away a lot more of the hillside. We used to be fields I walked on all over there. A lot of that is newly carved or quarried I should say. Now down there there's a big herd of cows. Now I've got no idea if they are going towards that tree over there. Which does look alright that one. I've just seen another one that looked completely burnt out. That one's very bushy actually. There's my gate over there. The cows are coming around the side but I don't know where they're coming up. Or if they're gonna, if there's a way in, I don't know. I can't remember because normally I follow a, the lower path. I think. I think we're gonna clash. I can actually, I can see a stile now. I can see a. So I need to get to that stile before the cows. Now it has slightly alarmed me. So basically, what I've done now. I reckon they're going to come up here. I reckon they're coming up here. I'm not sure. I might just make it ahead of them. I can't see them at the moment. No, they're over there. We've just got time to get down to that gate. So I think we're going to... See, there's the herd there. Look. Right. I have cut short a bit of exploration of the slides, but I mean, I have done it all before. But imagine if I'd come across this track, I would have bumped right into them. Now, as far as I can see, they can't get in here unless a farmer comes and opens that gate and opens that gate. So I got in front of them. Whew. It was a little bit nerve wracking because I've had, I've had to creep past cows. So there they are wait they're over there. I'll just zoom in again. There they are, they're not far behind me, look. See? And they're moving, they're moving quite quickly, believe it or not. 
but at least I managed to do a bit on the top there. This is all new and this wall's been repaired. So I'm going to, I've done this lovely walk. I love passing this tree which, who, who I should go and say hello to and it looks all right. I mean there's a tree down there, looks like it's totally dried out and burnt out for some reason. It's very early for the trees to go that brown, even those gnarled ones. They're all looking a bit thirsty actually, the bushes and that. But my tree there reminds me of the tree that you get on the Hadrian's Wall a bit because it's a lone tree. And not many a time I've had to come through this field and the cows have normally been at the top there or right down there. Some used to have long horns. But I always used to get a bit nervous when I used to get, I used to think, <sighs> I mean before now when they've been hovering here I've gone right up, up there and round followed the wall. I'm going to have my picnic when I get over to the other style now. I found a place where I wanted to sit and have it, but the cows were progressing this way and they might have got, they could have got all around the gate, see? So, um, I decided to move on. Saying that, how do I know there ain't cows around the corner? Could be a different herd, Sheila. Don't count me chickens, girl. There's dry pack in here, but it looks quite munched, doesn't it? There we go, there's a lovely little image of that tree, look. It is a while since I've walked past here. It's got to be over a year if not longer, because I've done a lot of the Quantox over the past. What's that there? There's a stone. Yeah, I've, gone, I've done a lot of Quantox in other areas. And I haven't done the walk back I can't remember when it is. I'd have to look in the video diary to know when I done this walk last. It would be either a uh, Wells back to Cheddar or it could have been West Sub Men Mendep. But I uh, don't look that old. I think they do come in here. It could be the farmer come along in his Jeep in a minute and let them in, see? But at the moment, I can't see any unless they're right up there. They do go right up in the corner sometimes. <sighs> hey, you're doing all right, Tree. You're looking all right. You imagine the number of people that had a picnic around that. I don't tend to because ticks. I, I tend to eat on the move most of the time. But I'm going to go up to the tree and then after I've done said hello to it, I'm going to um, take some photos. Yeah, it's looking a bit dry actually. That's not that's not that old that pack. They could be up there. There could be another herd. You've got to always think of that. Oh yeah. Oh hello. How are you doing, tree? I'm making a lot of nice trees lately. You've got good strong roots though, haven't you? Good strong roots, tree. You're, you provide your own shade actually for your own roots, which is good. The soil doesn't look totally dry here. Rain is on the way. That don't look that old. I reckon they're up there. I reckon there's a herd up there. I do. Right, I'm going to take some pictures. Lovely views though, everyone. Lovely views.